so now I'm going down with the piles of stones because my street here, because of the water, is running all the way down the road and takes all it pulls it. And uh, yeah, I will put some stones here in order to avoid for the next time the worst, but it needs more maintenance. But at the moment, because weeks now, I will maintain a little bit so it does not get worse. I put some stones here and you see how many still needed. But that was the first, the worst uh, places with the deepest, with the deepest holes here. So, poco a poco, little by little. Yeah, so I filled uh, this um, part of the road already. I put the big stones underneath and then oh, I put the gravel over it. So the, the earth and the, all the small stones, hopefully they fill that. So I'm now here. You see, it was before and I was driving over with the tractor and with the cars. So it must be quite settled. Yeah, and I have to do a bit more there. So currently I'm on the worst the parts of the road. Up there needs to be done more because the rain washes away all the all the sand and I'm always go for parts. So doing everything which is necessary right now. I have always my main project, but always looking for stuff um, which makes me more happy. So if you do always the same, you get bored. And I haven't, ex um, haven't ex escaped that world to do the same shit again. So today I felt like preparing the road. Yeah, I'm on it. And yeah, I have to do it down there as well. Um, lots of stone missing, but you can easily drive this part at least. You see, I don't know if you can see that on the on the video. Yeah. You see the soil is very sandy here and uh, as soon it rains much here and it is raining much here so it's not just a bit it's really cats and dogs. All the all the sand goes here so here's a difference so here's a half on the left side there's a half meter missing already and uh, all the sand has gone here. So this uh, right side is more or less a half meter higher as the rest of it and goes down to here. Um, earlier I all was on the same level, 
Yeah, so I will later put it in the same way as I pulled uh, away the stones there with the tractor going reverse and uh, we'll try to yeah to get the sand later back as a layer and this is we'll wash again or if somebody's come with a heavier car like a camper van or so uh, then i will partly adjust this with cement so i did that here already I found a quite interesting stone here. Um, my area here is uh, made of granite, so mostly granite is in all this area here, and I have a lot of granite as well. And uh, you know, this is a volcano stone, it came out of the volcanoes. And I have the sediment stones, that's the basic uh, stones we have on Earth, so volcano made or sediment made. And this looks a little bit like, like lava. So I'll put that in my site and uh, we'll check what it is. Yeah, so maybe it's a little bit uh, deep out of the ground and I will clean that and uh, check out what it is. This is now the layer uh, for the road with the gravel and with, uh, with the soil in between. Uh, I covered already with, uh, I go now to cover with sand all this to make all this a little bit smoother and that the sand can rinse into the into into the gaps here into the space which is still left and uh, yeah then that is done so i have to yeah i have to continue later the road here there's still a big gap here um, but i will uh, do it time by time so i bought just a few more stones to make it a little bit more the slope is a little bit better angle And of course you can just throw the stones or you arrange them a little bit. Then my experience is then it keeps better. So later, um, as the as um, cars driving over, it will be pressed together and later I will extend the road up to the stones. I made already some signs for me to have a, an overview how the road should work and then I fill this gap later as well.
but in support to say poco a poco. So this part here looks already very nice. So I need to take away a little bit of the granite here to make it more smooth to go up here. And you will see there's another rock where you always be rumbled in your car. But in general, this piece is ready so far for this year. It will take another year to prepare it much better. But yeah, I let the time work to squeeze in all the sand now here. Took the sand from down here. That was actually all the sand which was drainage down to the road here. You see, it's much more even now. And uh, yeah, as the rain was bringing that all to down here, I put it now back to the road. Yeah. You see, this area is now much more smooth here. And I will let work the time here a little bit as well. If the cars go over, then I will see where I need to uh, fill gaps, fill holes with it. But this looks already quite nice now. So I will go for uh, for the drainage that that all not cannot happen again. What I've done already is here, so all the water comes down the slope, house from the roof, the road, and takes all the sand with it. Yeah, so I made, I put a tube here. Formerly it was a channel as well, a kennel, uh, but you always, it was deep and uh, you know, the cars were suffering. So I put the tube inside here and covered it with a mix of earth, soil and uh, stones. And here as well, I let the time work now, then I will see how it gets how it's getting on and where something is missing and the, the tube ends here and it just goes to the land here. So now I will work on here, it's a little bit deeper on the slope, so we have been there, there's a tube and here is basically my, yeah, my last resort. I will build a drainage here myself out of cement in order that the cars, there's a channel now, a kennel now which is very bumpy for the cars as well. And yeah, so I have um, uh, shaped the kennel now here. Um, to a certain form. So I will fill that up now with cement. I will put a steel beam inside to make it more flexible. Fill it up with cement, which is basically then my ground uh, for the drainage. And the shape itself to build the kennel, I will do it with planks and with a beam. You will see. No more or less already is my beam and my planks are too short. Uh, I guess I have to do it in three pieces. So now the form is ready.
Yeah, so and a few months later, and after a lot of rain, uh, it all had uh, worked out very well. Uh, so the road looks now like that. The sand has settled. Um, the road is gone a little bit broader. And uh, also the water which is still on the road. Um, build it here just a small kennel to flow down. Uh, so I let it as it is. So here's the same. It all worked out quite well. Yeah, and the drainage I made uh, is working well. <laughs> of course, it cracked here, um, exactly there where the cars are going. Um, yeah, I think it must have been better uh, done. The crack is there, uh, but it's lasting. So it looks quite good. So not all the cement is broken. It seems like just on the top. It's the same on the other side. Here it's a little bit deeper, the crack. But it lasts so and the water is uh, quite good flowing down here and uh, also uh, the pipe it takes all the water and my road looks now much better it's much smoother there was a lot of work but it was worth it